Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in the previous video, we have seen how to call a post call using Karate. And uh, here you can see we were passing the payload and then this is was a, pay, a post call and then we were validating something. But yesterday we were facing, in the last session, we were facing one problem that every time we have to change this email ID because the duplicate email ID is not possible. For example, let's say if I'm going to uh, post this email ID one more time, let's see data today is reset and then tom11 got created but next time if i'm going to send this request once again it's giving you error that email already taken right and then 422 status code is coming here so in that case every time in your script also manually you have to change your script right manually you have to update the data so what we can do this part because at the rate gmail.com will remain same but before at the rate, what if we can generate some random string append with at the rate gmail.com something like this, we can do that programmatically. So Karate won't give you that feature by default, you have to write a simple basic logic or basic JavaScript logic here. So how to do that. So I'm going to write some uh, JavaScript logic in my uh, feature file and then we can use that logic, a simple for loop, we can use it a simple function that we can create it over here. So let's see how to do this. So I'll do one thing. Let's just, this script will remain same. I'll create a new feature file so that we will see a separate feature in a separate feature file. So let's see, this is my uh, random uh, email or something. So I'll say random mail dot feature. Okay, I'll upload this feature file and everything in my Git account also, Git repo also. You can just go and check it there. Now this is the feature. So copy this and then paste it over here. And then background we have already seen the URL request payload will be created. But before that, before creating a request payload, I have to update this email. So I'm going to create a function here. So variable we have seen how to define a variable like this, how to define a URL like this, how to define a function. So simple put star and then def keyword you have to write. And for example, I'm writing, this is my random string that I want to use this. So let's see, random string. Okay, and then I'm going to write this uh, three uh, triplet double quotes like that. And then I'm going to create a function here like this, the way we create the function in JavaScript. It will take one input, for example, S over here. Okay, and then the function body will start and end over here like this. And then what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to create a variable text initially is equal to let's see a blank, which will uh, we will store the random string in this. And then I'm going to create a pattern that or uh, let's see is equal to in double quotes, you can write a long string like uh, a to capital A to Z or small a to Z. Okay. And then I'm going to write a for loop. So I'll simple create a variable i is equal to, for example, zero and then i less than what i less than s so s as a uh, input that i'll take it that what is the length of the random string that you want to generate 10 digit 20 digits like that so uh, up to i less than s and then what i plus plus okay then do what so here we don't need to create a body you can just ignore that and then after that what we have to do is we have to keep appending the text plus which is equal to what which is equal to text plus is equal to whatever the pattern that we have uh, used here dot i'll just simple write character at the only problem in the feature file in karate is that it will not give you the suggestion like this so you have to keep experimenting maybe some uh, visual studio code or something so that you will get the uh, javascript methods and everything otherwise you just need to you know remember or maybe maintain some utility files like that and then just copy paste but it's not that regular in karate because generally we minimize the code in karate we just need to focus on the feature file given back then and all such things that we have to write it but sometimes you have to write your own code then you will not suggestions over here that is slightly i would say a drawback over here okay now i'll be using a math uh, class dot uh, a floor function and then uh, i'll be generating a random number like this multiply by whatever the pattern that we have used dot up to the length of this particular pattern so dot length here like this and then this so i hope there is no uh, uh, mistake pattern dot character at mat dot floor mat dot random multiply by pattern dot length and then it will keep capturing the character at this particular pattern and then 
keep appending over here up to 10 times and once this is uh, done then you simply write a return uh, text over here like this that's it so what will happen this function will return a random string so how to call this function uh, the function i'll be calling this a uh, random string this is the function name like this but i'll be storing let's see random is equal to i'll be calling this function by passing 10 over here like this uh, let's give a nice name i'll be writing this is my random uh, string like that which is equal to this so i'll be passing 10 over here 10 will be given to this particular function and then the s is equal to 10 and 10 times it will uh, run this particular loop and then it will return a random text and i'll store in this particular holding parameter here like this and when you use this let's see i just want to print it over here as well so star and then i'll say print random string now the same random string i have to use it over here so i cannot use it directly it's not like random string plus so don't do this mistake see if you are writing like this a lot of people they do this mistake uh, plus at the rate gmail.com and then the same request payload i'm passing it over here and the rest of the things will remain same so let me just remove it for time being here so what we have to do first of all there is a spelling not a spelling we have to write a def over here because it's a new variable now let's run it again and we will see once again okay this time somewhere it is fine but it's giving you a status code 422 test is failed so now it's giving you 201 why because when you see the request it's saying the random string at the rate gmail.com <clears throat> so that is the problem i was explaining that random string you cannot use it like this because this random string just got added as a normal string over here like this so what if the random string it's let's see it is really printing it on the console or not first of all so we will uh, see uh, any see this it's printing a random number 10 digit number you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 digit numbers it means random number is absolutely coming fine but you cannot use it over here like this so that's why if you see the request properly it is not giving you the request properly here it's giving you the message is invalid your email is invalid actually so it's appending the email like this it's not generating any random string so in to fix this problem what we have to do first of all we will remove this line from here right and then uh, once the request payload is done we will update the same request payload so how to do this so i'll simply say this is my request payload which attribute that you want to update i'll write dot email attribute which is equal to what which is equal to this particular random string that is getting generated and then i'll be writing in double quotes that uh, at the rate gmail.com like this okay perfect and then i'll just uh, print this entire request payload also just to see on the console the request payload is getting generated correctly or not okay and then these two lines actually i'll be writing this triple quotes here like this okay and then this will be star and then this will also be a star here like this okay and then my normal scenario is written so i'll repeat once again random string will be generated i'm just printing this random string defining the payload and then updating the payload like this so request payload is the payload name dot email attribute that i want to update and then random string whatever the 10 digit at the rate gmail.com printing the entire payload so this payload will be updated with this email and then the same request payload i'm using it over here to send the post call so now this time let's see it is working or not so run as cucumber feature looks like this is absolutely working fine and you can see failure zero if you really want to see the console let's see it is really printing the payload or not nice see can you see that the payload print over here and see the email id 10 digit number so a 10 digit string at the rate gmail.com and this is a 10 digit thing that we were printing over here so print will be printed with this prefix actually like this from karate okay and then this is the request url these are the headers and uh, it's absolutely working fine and this is what the user got created with id 6660 you can validate this id 6660 also and you can uh, refresh this file now everything is in green color when method post and here you can clearly see that this is my request url and uh, this is the email id that is what i'm passing and it's absolutely working fine getting the response code 201 here and now you run this particular script uh, script n number of times it will always work 
like a charm so let's run it again so now you don't need to manually change the email id it will always pick the random email id see again zero failure and now you can see this time it is generating this 10 digit uh, string at the rate gmail.com user id is 6662 and you can cross check in the postman also with the get call so this is my uh, i would say there is a get call that we used yesterday right yeah this one so let's see are we getting the same data or not see <coughs> this is what we created recently at the rate gmail.com with 626662 like this so in the next video i'll tell you that when we create a user then how to get the user same user to validate the user created or not right so but right now it's again a post call only not a um, uh, chaining over here or api chaining that we are using it but this is what i really wanted to explain that how to generate a random string and use it in your payload like this so this is such a nice script that we have written and now if you really want to assert the email also so what you can do is that you can simply write a data dot email is equal to what the data dot email is equal to uh request payload dot email let's see it is coming with the same thing or not okay so let's run it again and let's see okay zero failure absolutely working fine and you can cross check here once again request payload is equal to whatever the email that you have created as an input the same request payload you are getting in the response also here so this is the response that we are getting it here so this is what end-to-end -end test that we have written with the post call for creating the user like this nice example i'll do one thing i'll just put this particular uh, code in my git repository and then you are good to go i'll do it right away in front of you guys so i'll quickly check the status these are the files although i haven't added the git ignore file that i can do it later so i'll simple git add space dot git uh, commit minus m i'll write feature file added for post call and a random string and then git push origin to the master branch and uh, now this is the url that you guys can go to my repository and you can access the entire code from there we just created this particular feature file so you can directly come here and check this feature file available here or you can go to the directory from directly here src test java feature file and then today we created this uh, uh, random mail dot feature file this is the feature file is available you can go and check it okay so let me know guys if you have any issues with respect to karate you're not able to do that or any concern but here uh, small small things matters a lot because you are not used to with the karate syntax and everything so sometimes even i forget to write def and then sometimes equal to is not there sometimes we put missing this particular triple quotes like that so you just need to be careful uh, after a couple of when you practice a couple of times you will be habitual with the syntax like that okay and properly please maintain the alignment also properly over here like this Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Navi Automation Labs. Please subscribe to the channel, share these videos with others. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.